Here I'm talking to, what's your name? Mike Bemla. And you're the owner of this beautiful 58 Impala. And uh, the, the uh, car was in the film American Graffiti. Yes. And how did you uh, acquire the, the car? I was looking for my uh, first car as a teenager. I happened to be looking through the San Francisco paper advertisement of a movie cars for sale. I had no idea what movie. I was just looking for my first car. Uh, called up Henry Travers, the owner that I was actually working for Lucasfilms Limited at the time. And uh, fortunately I was one of the only people that ever showed up. And as far as I could tell, I must have been the only person that ever went out there, according to Henry and Jackie. And they advertised for Can you tell me about this car that 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 has been modified or changed or it hasn't been changed much at all since I've owned it for 35 years. Uh -huh. uh, the back tires are still the same. Back wheels uh -huh. and tires. Uh -huh. The uh, front wheels and tires have just been changed for this event because it was basically going to blow out on the trailer, so we changed it for this event. And uh, you know, a little bit of repairs here and there, but no new paint job, no re-chroming, a lot of cleaning. A lot of help, you know, from my family and friends that helped me do it. If I, if I had the money to restore it, it would have just been a restored '58, but not the movie car anymore. Right. So. Right. You want to keep it as as it was back then, as yes. when when the, when the film was made. Yeah. And so, even when you have made repairs, you kept the original parts. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Anything that comes off this car, I keep. You know, even the smallest piece of metal you know, I don't keep in baggies. Yeah, just for example, like the, the tail lights, if we look at those, those are nice. Those are what? Those are 58 Cadillac those tail lights? Those are 59 Cadillac 59 tail lights. 59 Cadillac tail lights? The original tail lights uh, from the movie are clayed in. Uh -huh. And they just kind of smash them in there. And, uh -huh. and on the drive home from Sonoma, California with the car, um, one fell out. I, I was lucky to, to see it fall out. I turned around and picked it up. And then it overheated on the way home also, and um, the brakes were bad. So, <laughs> so yeah. you, you didn't buy a car that was like uh, in the best condition? No, no. Yeah. my father really hated that I bought this car. <laughs> he wasn't too happy about it. He wasn't too happy. Yeah. Yeah, he wanted me to buy a new truck, and I couldn't afford a new truck. I could barely afford this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so what, uh, you've changed the engine or rebuilt the yeah. engine? I've changed the engines a, a couple different times, uh -huh. but I went back to the old motor and salvaged as many of the original parts that I could. And what is the original engine in it? The original engine is a 348 four-barrel. Okay. There's a 348 tri-power in the that was stock for that was stock for this. Okay. Yeah, originally, this car was an air conditioning car and an air ride suspension car. And as a, a, a true 58 Apollo, it was spendy the first time around. And now it's a piece of you know, history. Uh, who knows what it's worth? Yeah. It's just cool that I own it. Yeah. And um, was it? Do you know? Um, it, was it originally white? No, like what I could find out is I'm the fourth owner. Originally it was blue, and then the second owners turned it red. By the time Lucas got it, the interior had been changed, and they wanted to tuck and roll, so then it went white. When the, the film studio bought it, they bought it because it was tuck and roll. 
Oh, so it did have tuck and roll at the yeah. time. And it was the same tuck and roll that's in there now, yeah. is that correct? Yeah, same one with the rips and tears that are in there now. <laughs> How often do you drive this? Not too often. No. It's, uh, it's, it's not as uh, dependable as you think, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll fix it up a little more and drive it a little more. Uh -huh. Make it a little more roadworthy? Yeah, a yeah. more roadworthy. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful car. I think it's my favorite. I think I've told you that before. It's yeah. definitely my favorite of all the cars. It definitely has a nice, sleek elegance to it. It's not too, you know, souped up or too hot rotted out, but it's not too meek or too mild either. It's, it's just like the, the perfect, yeah. you know, the perfect yeah, car. Yes, definitely. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Mike. If anybody needs to get in touch with you or would like to get in touch with you, is there some place that they can do that? Yeah, they can. There's the emails on your website there. Okay. Yeah. Kip Pullman. Yep. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. <laughs>